Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I got to tell you this story as a warning, and it's not political, it's not the way I feel, it's not about anything, it's just a warning about people. Don't bring your guns on vacation. So many people in the United States have the, they quote the Constitution as the inalienable right to bear arms. You have your right to own guns, to carry guns, you get permits to carry your concealed weapon. But let me tell you what that means when you go to some other countries. It means absolutely nothing. It's not your country, it's their country. And if they say you can't have guns, you can't bring a gun, you can't bring ammo, and your constitution means nothing in a foreign country, no matter who you are. And I don't know how many times I have to try and say this to people who think, oh, well, drugs are legal in, uh, you know, in Colorado, but it's, it's not legal in Bermuda. I, I, I don't understand. And here's a perfectly good point. Uh, a lady, a 68-year-old woman, was just arrested in the Cayman Islands for having a 25 millimeter gun. I'm not sure. I'm not big on guns. Handgun in one of her suitcases. Uh, she was, uh, the suitcase was flown in from Florida because it was late. It was missing uh, when she went to pick it up. She was told that they found a firearm inside. She admitted it was her firearm. And she says, I have a concealed weapon permit in Wisconsin. And they said, we don't care because you're not in Wisconsin. She was arrested. She spent three days in jail. Um, at, then at one point, a judge released her into a hotel room uh, where she was under evening curfews and she was um, all on her bill, by the way. This wasn't their bill, otherwise she would have stayed in jail. They, uh, she has been released now and is back in the U.S. awaiting trial. They didn't make her wait. The trial is next month. But had they not released her, she would have had to pay for all this on her own in the Cayman Islands until her trial. She had to turn over her passport uh, while she was there as well. And there's all kinds of cases, especially in the Cayman Islands, where people are under much more scrutiny than even she was. There was a gentleman there who's a businessman who was building a multi, you know, a, a huge retirement place in the Cayman Islands and he was found uh, one of the shipping containers that came over for the construction site had 200 rounds of ammo in it and he said it was mistakenly sent by his company back home uh, that wasn't supposed to send the ammo when they asked him does he have a gun here they, he said yes I have it in my locker they went and got him and they charged him for having smuggled in a gun into their island and the big thing is he has a carry permit just like other people have carry permit if you want to carry your gun into their country you can get a permit for hundred and thirty dollars that's it but so many people just don't even think about applying for it they don't they try and just do it on their own and it's not just a it's a ammo as well Carrying in a single rifle bullet can lead to an arrest in some of these countries. So it's just not worth it. I, I don't know how much more I can stress that. And this goes for everything. Find out the laws and make sure you're not breaking them whenever you're going. And don't think the laws that are here in the United States or in Canada or in the UK, wherever you're traveling from, are the same where you're going. Can you imagine if this person was going to China and tried to smuggle a handgun into China? We would never hear from them again. That would be it. They would be in jail for life. So 
I, I, I always shake my head when I see these stories uh, with people putting guns on airplanes traveling to other countries or people smuggling drugs. And uh, it's, it's bewildering to me. The gentleman I was talking about who was building the retirement home and everything says, yes, he's guilty. He, you know, not buying the license was stupid and foolish and not very smart. And yes, he has a gun. It wasn't very bright. It wasn't very smart, but it wasn't criminal. I'm sorry, guess what? Yes, it was. It was criminal because it's against the law where you are. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, it's not criminal maybe in where you, where you live, but you're not at where you live. It's, it's just amazing. Uh, I'm flying to China later on this year and I'm going to Japan later on this year and I will be on such good behavior. <laughs> and I know I, I'm researching every single thing that I should be able to bring and what I can't bring. And that goes down to cameras and things like that because I'm gonna be doing filming. But what do the Chinese authorities allow for tourists on certain cameras. Believe it or not, there is regulations on what kind of cameras you can bring into China as well. Did you know that? No? Well, I'm finding those things out. So that makes a big difference. Uh, also, what you're allowed to record over there uh, and where you're allowed to record. So that just warnings. Don't assume things are legal wherever you're going. And if you get caught over there, the fines and the prices are amazing. In the Cayman Islands, if you plead guilty to the gun possession, it's up to seven years mandatory in jail. If you're convicted during a trial, it's a mandatory 10 years in jail. Mandatory. They do have a provision called exceptional circumstances where they will just make you pay fines. Um, and normally this is the case, but not always. Sometimes you're just locked up. And do you really want to rely on a goodwill from a judge or a government saying exceptional services when you're looking at up to 10 years in jail? Mandatory. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's better off just not to bring the gun one thing, or if you want to bring the gun, find out the legal way to bring the gun to where you're going. Don't just assume your carry, uh, undercover carry, concealed weapon permit is good around the world, because guess what? The minute you leave the U.S. borders, it's no longer valid everywhere else in the world. And so uh, I, I don't want to come off as sound like I'm preaching to people, but there are over 67 cases in the Cayman Islands right now of people who have been arrested on gun and weapons and ammo charges. Waiting trial. That's like, I, I, at first I thought, oh, it's only gonna be one, two or three people just, you know, they forgot it in their luggage or something from a local trip. No, no, there's 67 out there. So beware, be forewarned, do your, Due diligence, like I always say, research what you're doing, where you're going, and if you want to bring anything over there that all it takes is a permit, take the time to do the permit. <laughs> I mean, 10 years in jail or a $130 permit? Which one would you rather do? <laughs> Crazy. And when someone comes out with a defense, it's not criminal. I hate to say it, buddy. It, it was criminal because it's a criminal case there. I, I don't know. I'm not going to dwell into this too more. Do your due diligence. Make sure you can bring what you say you're going to bring. And don't try and be sneaky about it because the consequences far outweigh the benefit to bringing whatever you're bringing over to the other country. Well, I hope you like this update. I hope it saves you some agony and some pain if you were thinking on doing any of this in the future, because I don't want to see anyone in jail. I don't want to see anyone have hassles at the borders. I just want to see people go on a vacation and have a good time and have fun. That's what vacationing and cruising is all about. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.